Hello my fellow weirdlings, it's Margot and today I'm bringing you a little bit of information on the real life superstitions and supernatural experiences of the king of horror and one of the most recognizable voices to ever grace our screens or radios, Vincent Price. If you're ready to get spooked and spine tingled, keep watching. Vincent Price was notoriously superstitious. He once joked that he kept a horseshoe, a crucifix, and a mezuzah on his front door. While in Haiti studying Haitian art, the Horror King once told this story over lunch when asked if he'd ever had any real-life uncanny experiences. He answered, I should say so. For example, I was flying into New York's LaGuardia Airport some years ago. It was fog-bound. I think it's eternally fog-bound. And the plane was circling. Suddenly, as I looked out the window, I saw clearly in the clouds the words Tyrone Power is dead. I was taken aback. I knew Tyrone Power. We'd made movies together, but he wasn't a close friend of mine. When we landed, I picked up a newspaper, and there on the front page was a story of how Tyrone Power had died suddenly in his early 50s while making a movie in Spain. In 1935, at the beginning of his career, Price went to a palm reader who told him extraordinary things were about to happen to him and that for the next three years his life would be ruled by the letter H. Shortly after that, he got his big break when Helen Hayes bought the play he was in and took it and him to Broadway. It was an enormous success and ran for three years. Continuing with the recollection, he said, and by the way, besides the two H's in Helen Hayes, the name of the play's author was Lawrence Hausman. Price added that an additional coincidence was that he was a Gemini, and every actor who'd followed him in that play, Victoria Regina, had also been a Gemini. Another experience Price had was in his positive. He said once a Hollywood astrologer looked at my horoscope and said that for the next two years, it was one of the most disastrous charts he had ever seen. He saw nothing upbeat for two years. Well, believe me, he was right. I had two years of disaster which culminated in my London flat being burgled on the eve of my return from a trip through Europe. Thankfully, that period is now past. Yet another astrological prophecy came true for Price when he was told that according to his horoscope, he would play the role of two saints, one a real saint, the other fictitious. Price recalled, The fact is that very shortly afterward, I played the part of Joseph Smith, the Mormon prophet, a true saint, in the movie Brigham Young. And then very shortly after that, I played on radio the part of the fictional saint, Simon Templer, the private detective. Price even spent some time teaching occult instruction when he recorded four little-known and very difficult-to-find spooky spoken word albums based around the themes of witchcraft, the occult, and demonology between 1969 and 1976. The 1969 album, called Witchcraft Magic, traces the history of magic through the Bible, the Middle Ages, the Spanish Inquisition, and Nazi Germany before turning to practical instruction in the dark arts including a section called How to Make a Pact with the Devil. The script was written by a mysterious figure named Terry D. Oberoff. So Vincent Price didn't just talk that silver tongue talk in our most beloved classic horror movies, he also walked the walk, or flew the broom, so to speak, in his everyday life. That's all I have for you today. I hope you've enjoyed these stories and we'll come back for more. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, and bring your friends, family, COVID pod, cult members, and visible friends or enemies. And if you have any unsettling stories to share, I'll leave my contact info in the description box. Thanks so much for watching. Uh -huh.